Hey guys, this is Rick from Line 6 Support. Today I'm going to take you through a quickie primer on how to download a tone from customtone.com, use Gearbox to sync it up into a Pod X3 Live. Now, this is kind of a common question that we see in our forums and we, we get through the phones. Uh, so hopefully this tutorial will help some of you guys, especially some of you guys that are brand new to this. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull up a browser. Um, I'm already logged on to line6.com and I'm already on the community home page. I got here by clicking on this community link up here in the red banner. There's a couple different ways you can get to customtone.com. Uh, of course you could put the, you know, the, the link in the URL field up here, uh, www.customtone.com. That'll work fine. But I wanted to call out that uh, we also have a, a link through our, uh, our community now. Um, so if you're on the community homepage, you can actually click on Custom Tone here uh, in the community. And you'll see this big uh, graphic here, which is actually a link that'll take you right to customtone.com. So this is the way that we're going to get in today. Okay, so we're on customtone.com. Uh, I'm using a Pod X3 Live. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and look for Pod X3 tones. And they're right down here near the middle of the page. So let's click on, uh, on all Pod X3 tones and see what we have here. Okay, a couple of new things to Custom Tone. We actually uh, incorporated a rating system um, and uh, a way to discuss and comment on tones. Kind of cool. It's been a request from you guys for a long time. So, you know, hopefully... Uh, That'll satisfy some of you uh, custom tone guys out there. Uh, we're still working on custom tone, um, so hopefully there'll be some improvements in the future. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to download the first tone we have here, this Eric Johnson tone. And what you want to do is you want to click on Get Tone. I'm on a Windows XP machine, and if you're on Windows, uh, Windows will ask you if you want to open the file or if you want to save it. And we want to download it, so we're going to save it. Okay, so our save location box opens up here. We're going to choose desktop uh, and then click save. You can save the tone wherever you want. I'm just going to, you know, choose desktop just for this tutorial purpose. Okay, looks like our tone's been saved. So let's minimize our browser here. And there it is. There's our tone down here in the corner. Okay, so at this point, there's a couple things you can do. You can right click on the tone and choose to open it with Gearbox. It'll also open with PodFarm. Today we're going to cover Gearbox for you X3 Live guys and X3 users. Uh, what we're going to do now is just launch Gearbox from the shortcut we have on the desktop. Okay, I'm using a Pod X3 Bean to actually record my audio into this tutorial. And that's why this popped up here. So you can see we have our options here. But what I want to do is I want to install the tone we just downloaded into the X3 Live. Okay, so we have two windows here in Gearbox. We have the editor window and we have the hardware memory window. The hardware memory win min window, excuse me, uh, basically just outlines uh, all the different tones you have in your pod uh, and where they're located. And there's two pages you can bank back and forth here to see to see all your tones. Uh, these are all user uh, tones, uh, as you can see. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to install the Eric Johnson uh, tone just into Bank 1A. It's a single tone. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can drag and drop the tone if you want, uh, like this. Drop it in there. You'll see that it's it's actually in 1A now and it's italicized, meaning that it's it's not saved yet. It's not it's not synced into the pod. But you will also notice that the editor window in Gearbox is calling out the tone. The amp models changed to the Line 6 Piezo acoustic, um, so we know that Gearbox sees this tone now. Another way you can get the tone into Gearbox is to open the editor window and go to File, Tone 1, and Open. You just browse to your desktop and you see it right there, and you click on Open. And there, there she is. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to sync the tone up to the pod. Um, really simple, you use the hardware memory window for this. What we want to do is we want to choose the tone location. Let's just click on it. We've, we've chosen it. And we want to put the tone from the computer into the pod. So we're going we're gonna to just do this one tone. So we just want to click on Selected. OK, Gearbox launches this, this uh, window. And it asks if you're sure that you want to do this. We're going to say yes, absolutely. 
And now you can see that the Eric Johnson uh, tone is no longer italicized. It's, it's now sitting in our pod. It's been synced up, and you're good to go. You've got the Eric Johnson tone in uh, patch 1A on your X3 Live. So that's, that's basically the gist of it. It's pretty simple. Um, I'll be doing some more in the future. We'll do dual tones, things like that. Uh, so, yeah, stay tuned for more tutorials. Thanks.